Hello, hello, no excuses, ladies. This is episode number 35. I am Eva Eckert and I am your host. So welcome to the show. I have all the social media around me. So welcome. Thank you for showing up. What is the no excuses if this is your first time? No excuses, ladies, weekly show is for all of you ladies out there who have been struggling with making too many excuses and find yourself being unhappy and unsuccessful in all areas of your life. This weekly life can give you examples of how the no excuses mindset help my freak family become successful in all these different areas of your life, like uh, mind, body, business, and relationships. So no excuses tribe is welcoming all of you out there who would like to become a badass, and maybe you are already a badass. This is the place to be. I'm here to help you, guide you, and lead you to your full potential so you can discover the no excuses mindset. By having me as your accountability coach, you will be able to finally discover the self-discipline, the self-motivation, the internal motivation and self-belief so you can stop making the excuses and create the life you truly desire by by being the best version of you. So this is what the no excuses is all about. But you might have your different idea by joining here this uh, th- these episodes and actively uh, making comments and replying here. I would love to always hear from you. First of all, I want to say thank you for you guys for showing up and and listening to these shows. We do this. I do this once a week. There are different topics. So I wanted to really appreciate the fact that you are here. You are here with me and giving me your time. So write it down. What has been the biggest success in your life so far? What has been the biggest struggle so far? This is just a the general question. Uh, we can go deep. Uh, we can go a little bit deeper uh, once we doing a coaching one on one. That's a different story. But right now, just write it down. Make comments. It's good to hear. It's good to share. And uh, recap from last week. We had. I was talking about the menopause. Right. Uh, how to have the no excuses mindset in menopause. I'm going through this. I am very open about this. It happened much earlier than I expected uh, because I'm only 44, but I know that some women go through this and it's good to share and it's good to brainstorm and, and talk about it. There is nothing absolutely wrong with it. So, yes. So today uh, we will be talking about how to fall in love with Mondays, feeling stressed, feeling anxiety when you're beginning the week, this is for you. This show is for you because I'm going to give you some awesome tools, some awesome examples. So stay tuned. Now, since the school started, right, the kids going to school in most of the areas, some of our friends' kids already went to school and they started a month ago. So I know how the chaotic, um, uh, chaotic schedule can be. Uh, I am. I have two children, so I know exactly how, uh, how it can be. That's why I thought, let's do this. Let's talk about it. Let's give each other ideas and help. Of course, having your water by you, because remember, we're drinking a lot of water. So make sure you have this. So have you, have you ever had this situation? Or maybe you are in the situation that you're feeling overwhelmed or you're feeling stressed. You feel stressed on Mondays. You probably drop off the kids to school and sometimes you see them, the parents or the moms just running around like crazy maniacs. Sometimes they're even in their pajamas. This gives you an idea. This gives you something. Wow. You know, are they are they falling behind? What is what is the reason behind it? Right. So have you had a moment that you felt like, oh, my God, I'm trying to catch up. It's already Monday. It's just finished the week and you feel stressed and anxious because you are late for work, you are late to school, maybe if you are a student, you are always late. And this starts on Monday. And guess what happens? The whole week is almost like this. It's not only the Monday. You maybe didn't catch yourself yet, but you continuously repeating the same mistake over and over again. And I see you guys joining. Thank you so much. So yes, talk someone in this video because you might know someone that would like to listen to me because this is important, guys. We are a lot of a lot a lot of us are parents, and we want to kind of uh, see how other people are, how how they react, what do they do, what are the tools, what we can do, right? So, look, uh, 
why do you think it's like a lot of people say this i hate my list i'm sure that your friend said this like i came across many of my coaching clients many people even back in the day in peak physique when people would say i hate monday oh it's monday instead of coming with that awesome feeling vibration it's the new week something new and exciting will happen they just did not feel it and the reason for it is because they do not take charge and control they do not prepare they get aggravated because they created already that mental state that it's okay i am always behind everything so there are things that we can do to plan ahead and to not feel this way so i want to go through this with you so think about it like maybe on mondays like think about your monday i'm going to give you some good questions today so stay tuned with me maybe you're driving to work for instance and you always get stuck in traffic and by stucking being stuck in traffic what happens after you get late for work late for school create anxiety in you right but there are tools to avoid certain things it's as simple as that guys but think about it like uh, people post on Instagram, people post on Facebook. Uh, we see this all around us that people say, you know, uh, the, uh, Mondays, we hate Mondays. It's always, it's always the same thing. And I felt the same way years, years ago, back in New York when we were leaving, uh, when we had still our gyms, I started feeling this anxiety on Sunday and I never knew what it was, guys. I always felt weird because on Sunday, because I had to plan the week, but I thought that planning this week was me doing everything, all this work for this whole entire week. That's where the anxiety was coming from. Not only that, I had to call Poland because there is always six hours difference, catch up with all my friends and call and text everybody. And it became like a kind of anxious Sunday. I don't know if you've ever had that, but that was me. And I was like, okay, this is the time for me and my family. This is the time for my kids. We talking about about this was about four years ago, and and I'm and I felt this uncomfortable feeling and uh, fighting with this feeling and how to how to really overcome this. What I need to do, right? So after really thinking through, writing it down, I figured it out what's the whole idea of planning and getting these Sundays more organized, more better. So you, it's becoming like you're getting up and you up and going and you ha have everything put in place. So I started planning on Sunday, seeing like looking at my schedule. Okay, what's coming? What are the most important things that I need to concentrate this week, right? What needs to be accomplished? Who do I need to meet? What I need to delegate? Maybe there are things that I need to delegate, right? Of course, I delegated and certain things change for me on Sunday. Uh, when can I fit my workouts in my schedule based on what's going on? Usually, if you know the Freak family is working out all the time, uh, at the same time, we have everything scheduled. But there are sometimes things that happen on your calendar, on your schedule, simply as, you know, dentist visit can happen or some other thing or, uh, you know, friend's birthday that you just need to attend that time and you need to switch something in your schedule. So when do you plan the workouts? Pick up the kids, put it on the schedule, right? Everything is there on the schedule and planning it and ahead of the time, we've talked about this many times, will give you that sense of release and sense of being prepared for the upcoming week. But stay with me because I, well, I'm going to give you some great homework for you to do, questions for you to answer later, later. And it's good to answer them because it will help you to create your own Sunday regimen, ritual, rule, whatever you call it. I put it purposely listen to this i called it sunday bliss and there is a reason why i call this and ivanka just recently looked at my phone and she's like there is a reminder mommy coming on your phone it's a sunday bliss what is this she starts cracking up and i did this purposely because there is a video game that we played and there was something that they were that was in this game and it called it bliss and the bliss was all about planting the plants and flowers. And you know what I'm talking about. And they were cracking up 
that this is what I'm exactly doing, the Sunday bliss. So I did this purposely. So whatever you want to call it, name it however you wanted to name it. But this is the whole idea that will give you the clarity of what's happening in that week. So you do not feel stressed on Monday because simply you just trying to catch up instead of preparing ahead of time. Why do we need clarity, guys? Clarity, once you be once you are clear in what you need to accomplish in the com- upcoming week, how this Monday starts, you're gonna feel motivated, you're gonna be prepared, but you're gonna know what you are doing. What are the steps for you to take? Like think about it. If you don't if you are not clear about upcoming week, if you Imagine walking in a very foggy day that it's barely the vision, like you can't even see what's ahead of you, but you know that you have to find your way home. How on earth you will find your way home? It's impossible. You you take every step with such a caution. You, you're not sure what's ahead of you. You're not making these confident steps forward. And that's what's happening with you on every Monday. You're running all over the place. You're not sure what to do next. Uh, You probably miss your breakfast. You didn't even drink any water. Maybe your kids are not even prepared for school. There is a chaos going on and you continuously doing the same thing over and over every single week. And that's why we're here to talk about it and prepare ourselves and change this. So guys, make comments. Please write it down. How is your Monday? What do you do? that you set yourself for success on Monday. Because uh, why people hate Mondays, I told you this, is because they they are not prepared enough. Uh, they they always trying to catch up with things. They get stuck in traffic and this traffic situation because they are late for work because they didn't prepare themselves earlier and it caused the chaos and that's why people hate Mondays, but Monday should be a great way for you to start. First of all, it's just the name of the week. It's just the name of the week. You can treat this day and any any other day if you want. It's it's really our perception, how we look at things and what we need to do. So I want to give you some points for today. This episode is not going to be a long episode today. I want to give you some pointers. So these questions actually can make you think. Write it down. Number one, what would be the best time for me on Sunday to plan my week? Number two, what time do I need to wake up on Sunday to accomplish certain things to ease my Monday? Like do this, I'm telling you. Number three, what time do I need to go to bed on Saturday? On Saturday, so I can be well recovered And think clearly on Sunday because a lot of times people like just uh, staying up late and dragging the weekend, being tired, not waking up, not having a schedule. I'm not saying that you cannot stay up on on Saturday, but also if you're staying up, if you're going out and drinking and there are consequences in your behavior, you need to think about it if this is really worth it, right? Number four, what needs to happen on Sunday so I can fall in love with Monday again? Or just in generally speaking, like maybe you like Mondays, but you still missing something on that Monday. You still not feeling as vibrant, as motivated. Number five, when would I need to go to bed Sunday night to ensure I would wake up earlier for morning for my morning a.m. ritual on Monday, so I can do my a.m. routine. So now, do you see the domino effect? Like one behavior can affect the other from one day to the next day to the next day. Like, think about it. If you're tired, if you're exhausted, if you didn't catch on sleep during the weekend and you always, then you're always tired on those Mondays, right? Number six, what is the one thing on Monday that makes me so stressed out? Be specific, be very vivid about this, like clearly write it down. You, maybe you're going to find yourself out that you hate your job. I don't know. It might be something crazy. I don't know. Maybe you just, I don't know. You're going to write it down that you hate your boss. I'm not sure. But just be clear. 
because it's all about finding out what is the reason. Number seven, why do I rush on Monday? Just write it down. Why do you rush on Monday? What is happening on Monday morning that you are so crazy with your behavior and you can't really seriously catch up? Like when you write those things down, you're going to have all these pointers and you're going to realize, okay, those are the things that I clearly need to fix. You know, maybe maybe you're always late or maybe you're stopping by for Dunkin' Donuts, coffee and the donuts that, first of all, not making you any good. Even if you buy that coffee that is 800 calories because it has all this milk and sugar, trust me, this is not your breakfast you wanted to have. You are on a weight gain process. This is a weight gaining power. Dunkin' Donuts is giving you the power to gain the weight. Yes. And they controlling you, controlling your ass. Oh, yes. So you don't want that because these calories are empty. Maybe you do this and that's what slows you down, catching up and getting to work on time. Maybe that's what it is. Or maybe you wanna find something else that you not do or you should be doing. Number eight, what needs to happen on Monday morning so I feel great, energized and ready to conquer the week? Because Mondays is you, you should be on fire, on your A game, ready to work, ready to conquer the week. That's how it should be. Number nine, what would be the three things, three new habits for Monday that I that would help me to stay calm and focused and not rushed? That's what I want to hear from you. Write it down. Number 10, what do I need to change to love my Mondays? Because... If you would list, like literally list, I hate Mondays because this and this and this, you would be surprised. Number 11, describe yourself now as the one who loves Mondays. What does this person do? How does this person act? What does this person eat? And things like that. Just describe it. Guys, if you are not liking the way how you start your week and how your week goes, that has to be mindfulness. You have to try to stay connected. The world goes so fast right now. Spins the same way. Nothing has changed. But the, the, the lifestyle that we have is very fast. And if you do not have a moment of self-care and stay for a moment, tune into you and find out what really happening, you're going to end up being very stressed, very anxious, unhappy, and you will never succeed. You're going to be always feeling miserable. So I don't want this for you. I want to give you the guidance and the tools and help you because I felt this awful pressure on Sundays. This was a long time ago. I got rid of it by scheduling, by taking time. And, and also what has changed drastically is because we do these things as a family, like our kids are seven and 10. And when we educate ourselves, when we do a little writing, when we plan the week, they do the same thing for their school. And this goes together and it's a nice flow. Okay. So start earlier, start doing this with your kids as well. And think that the rituals, is what will stay with you. If you plan your rituals, and ritual is a ritual only when you love them, when you apply them, and when you cannot live without them. That's a ritual. Athletes have rituals. Because the willpower will not last in you, will not last. Trust me on this one. People get excited about new diets and any and everything, and they will start making the same mistakes, starting the diet, not finishing the diet because it was a new thing, so they got excited. But there was not a real ritual that was created. They didn't love what they entered. And this is like anything in your life. It's just, I'm giving you the example of, of, of just doing pretty much like um, like weight loss, but it comes to anything, anything in life. So w w you will create the change in your life and your ritual and your in, in your life in general if it means something to you. 
So if you are at that moment that you absolutely cannot stand it the way how it is for you on Monday, if it means the change, if this means something to you, then you will change it. Uh, the same like, you know, with weight loss, like people start weight loss program because it means for them that maybe they cannot wear the clothes that they want. Maybe they have health problems. Maybe they have moder- like problems with their marriage. There, There is some meaning behind it and it has to be strong enough to push you forward, right? And most of all, don't be ignorant. Be mindful, really connected to yourself, what's going on within you, what's going on around you. Change this, guys. Change this because, as I mentioned to you, life goes really fast. And every single person is here for a reason. We have some kind of gifts of helping others, of delivering the best out of ourselves. Some people cannot find it. They they go in this mumble jumble from work to work, from job to job, trying to uh, put together their life instead of really finding out what is that that you love? Why are you here on this planet? What is the reason you're here? What is the meaning? What you need help with and how you can help others. There is always, we all should be congruent with what we do. And I believe that every person, once you find this, you're going to have an excellent life. You're going to stop making any excuses because it's going to be a flow. If you love something, it's going to become a flow to you. And I can speak from the heart because I've been a coach for many, many years. I started as a coach uh, when I was very young, teaching um, in high school uh, fitness and let me tell you, I did not know much, but I did this because I love the smiley faces. I love these women that would come to my class and they were just happy and I would deliver to them. Uh, maybe wasn't the, 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 the fitness that we do nowadays that we do the boot camp and boxing. It was more like a Jane Fonda aerobic because that was a long time ago. But I did it and I did it with passion and I did it with purpose. And the same thing with you guys. So you have any questions, please reach out to me because I do coaching constantly all the time. There are different tiers of coaching. You can get the one-on-one coaching. There's absolutely different things, but you need to first schedule your consultation, send me a DM. Maybe you have a some kind of a trouble problem going on and we can get this going, resolve this for you. Uh, it's not that they, a lot of time people think, oh, okay, so if I hire someone, this person will just give me the answer. It doesn't work like this. It's not that I give you the answer. You're going to find your own answer because the answer is there. Nobody never asks you serious questions. Nobody never push you. No, nobody n- never really uh, uh, dig deep and, and, and find and, and really be bold enough to ask you certain things. And that's why you never maybe got the answer or maybe you hide the answer. The answer is there, but you just like living without really purpose and and happiness. So with this said, remember life is amazing. So be who you desire and deserve to be and have a no excuses mindset, no excuses life. Of course, reach out to me if you have any questions I I would love to speak to you in person. I will talk to you guys later. Have a no excuses day. Bye.